feel like it went? Man, I feel like it went really well. I was really excited uh, coming into this whole thing, just getting the opportunity to be on this Who's Number One. Me and Elder are going to be the first purple belts on there, so. Uh, You're the first in history. First in history, man. First fucking color belts on the whole goddamn thing. So, uh, it's pretty interesting. I've been real excited about this. I got fucking Gabby Garcia on there, fucking Gordon Ryan, fucking Roberto, Craig, you know, all those guys, man. Gio, fucking. And it's like, I just get to be there with those guys. I remember back in the day, I would see those guys on YouTube or Flow, whatever have you, and fucking be like, man, like I'd, you know, I'd like to be there someday. It'd be cool to, it's cool watching it. I couldn't imagine being there. So getting the chance to be there now is just something to behold. Right on. So there's been a lot of trash talk from your opponent, from Elder. Do you have anything you want to put out there into the world? No, nah, man, I don't think I do. I think I'm going to leave that leave that to old Edgar or whatever and uh, let him do his thing. I just, I just go out there and handle business. I give him two minutes. Anything beyond that, he's running. Everybody knows it. Nobody's blind to that. He posted yesterday, I'm number one, and I burned the boats. And what he was referring to was that the fucking, the bullshit. Oh, you talking about that shit with Mel Gibson and the Patriot, ain't it? That's what you talking about with that bullshit. That's it, man, fucking hoping swim with a broke leg because he's stuck now. He has to come. Do you have anything you want to add then put out into the world? Austin, keep the pot hot. Biscuits and gravy's coming. You ain't even got no pants on, man. RV sponsoring me, man. I need some shorts. Yeah. You'll have a little time. Who's number one here in a couple of days? You get nervous before your matches? Uh, I would like to say I don't, but I do. Uh, I get nervous before every competition I do. Uh, sometimes it's worse than others, but especially when you're here at the airports, you know, loading up to travel for these big trips, coming to get some fucking donuts. It's like, it's like an aphrodisiac, so it's pretty good. Pretty good to start off the morning. No, not really. What do you think an aphrodisiac is? A sexual thing? Yeah, it is. Well, a donut will do that for you. So a donut is what I said. I was right. I wasn't lying. I said what I said. I man. said what I said and I meant it. Right now in Austin, 72 degrees, gusty winds out of the west at 20 miles an hour. Overcast skies calling for that to uh, slowly burn off near our arrival time department. Glad these guys play general board this. Sweat the whole time I'm flying. I don't like. I don't like flying. I'd rather drive everywhere. It's just not fun. I get nervous. <laughs> like I know the mechanics of it. I've fucking spent like 10 hours researching how that flight actually works and how safe it is. And my palms don't give a fuck. Yeah. Just checked into the hotel. Uh, flight was smooth. Flight was good. Uh, everything went well. We got here. We got up here. Flo put us in a really nice spot. Well, we put Andrew in a really nice spot. Andrew just kind of let us stay here. We're moving up in the world. I'm moving up. This is uh, it's quite the place, man. This fucking hotel is fancy. You got to pay for the fucking air around here, so. Flo has to pay for the air. Flo has to pay <laughs> per diem. We get per diem oxygen. So I'm really excited for tomorrow. I can't wait to get it in. Hello. 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 Hello.
Hello, welcome to my mansion. <laughs> yeah, so yesterday we, we checked in. Uh, we kind of ran into a little bit of a problem with the, the credit card bullshit again. Uh, apparently I need to have one. Uh, and I do have one actually. It's not a credit card, it's linked to my bank account, which is generally pretty dry. And then they started telling me they were gonna charge me 150 just in case couch shits all over the bed and then 150 for parking. <laughs> I was like, oh no, <laughs> I don't usually have that much. Uh, but now this place is fancy. Uh, like I said, we're, we're high class citizens now, no longer white trash. We are part of the upper class because Flo has money. <laughs> So what do you got? You got weigh-ins tomorrow? Oh yeah, I got I got a weigh-in tomorrow, man. Uh, I don't have to cut any weight though. Like, I, the, the weigh-in was at one eighty-five, and I was kind of like floating around right at that weight. But uh, I did have to not be a fat piece of shit. So like, I had to tell myself I can't have orange chicken for like five days. And uh, let me tell you, man, it's been a struggle. I I don't know if anyone knows this, but man, I really like orange chicken. It's I I'm not addicted, okay? But <laughs> it's, uh, I just had to not be a fat piece of shit, and so far I've successfully managed it. Uh, I'm kind of going to bed right on weight today, so I can probably eat a banana or something, and then I'll get up and not have to work out and just go weigh in and then try to win. Easy. Easy stuff. Okay. For high class citizens like us. All right, so it's uh, it's Thursday today. We uh, kind of got to slept in today and like chill out. Uh, so we're getting ready to head over to the Flow Grappling headquarters where they shoot all the like uh, who's number one and like in office. So the guys are going to go in. They're going to let Couch uh, kind of take over and. Uh, do some stuff there and uh, they're gonna do the weigh-ins guys are gonna get the weigh in then we're just gonna eat chill out you know maybe uh, run around mess around for a little bit tonight and just try to hang out and you know have super good vibes and then uh, tomorrow's the day so pretty chill day headed to Flow Grappling Headquarters uh, I fucking spilled a monster energy drink all over my rash guard earlier so it's wet as fuck it's so cold <laughs> Wrapped up uh, the day here at Flow Sports HQ. Finished the weigh-ins. Finished the press conference. All the press work. Uh, I've been in, the cam in front of the camera a little bit before, but today was uh, today was quite different. It was like an all-day thing, and uh, oh, it's yeah. something I've kind of like I've looked forward to my whole life. It's just being able to do something like that. Uh, kind of feel like a movie star today. So it's pretty interesting. Every I feel good. I feel the most ready I've ever felt for anything in my entire life, so I'm excited to come out and put on a show tomorrow. All right, so we just finished up the weigh-ins. Uh, we got the interviews and stuff. They did the casting couch thing. And <laughs> now we're uh, we're just kind of waiting to head out and get the real food. So we actually had a revelation between me and my opponent during the couch. So uh, he's got, we got in the conversation of orange chicken somehow. I don't know how, how we get there. We always get there. And he said he hasn't had Panda Express since the last time he had it in Hilo, Hawaii. The first time I ever had Panda Express was in Hilo, Hawaii, because my mom lives on the Big Island. I used to go out there in the summers, and we were just blew our fucking mind. Dude, we were about to, it was about to turn into casting couch for real. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't even know how we're gonna fucking roll with each other now, man, we're bros. <laughs> okay, how are you feeling for tomorrow? I feel good physically, I didn't have to cut weight, but now, I think I, I weighed in at 185. We're gonna see if I can make 200 by tomorrow. <laughs> okay. 